Greetings, YouTube. It has been three weeks now since we had a Wednesday announcement for uh, crystals. Specifically, of course, for our favorite Nexus crystals. And so, I feel like Kabam has to look at their profit sheets from the past two Wednesdays. And compare them to any other Wednesday in the last several months and think, why are we doing this to ourselves? Why are we costing ourselves money. It was the perfect price, the perfect value for hope of a six star Hercules, you know, hope of a six star Nick Fury, Black Widow Clairvoyant, Black Widow Deadly Origin, you name it. So we have three new updates and one of them is a fight and crack the multi-madness piggy bank. How it works. To break your piggy bank open, you'll need to fill it up. For every fight you win in the quest and arenas, 100 multi madness crystal shards are added to the piggy bank, or 200 shards per win with Mystic Champions, up to 4,000 uh, shards. As you hit milestones, you'll, uh, you'll unlock the ability to purchase your shards and bonus items. If you're impatient or need the help in a hurry, you should never do this. I don't even know why they give you the option. It's so dumb. You can bust the bank early, but it's all the same price to crack the piggy bank, regardless of milestones. So make sure you're getting the best deal. Wait for the final milestone to get a Nexus Crystal. Important info, once you fill the piggy bank to 4,000 shards, you only have two hours to crack it open. So Nexus Crystals, of course, it says depending on your story progression, we present with different resources to be sure to push on in the axe to get the best deal. This offer will be running until June 1st. And today is May 25th. So that's what, seven days? Indeed. All right, so let's see what this is all about. First off, it's five bucks. It's the same price that Wednesday Nexus offers were. But the problem is Wednesday Nexus offers were two Cavalier uh, Nexus crystals for five bucks. And this gives you multiple Nexus crystals, but one of them is a Grand Master, so there's no chance for a six star and very rare chance for a five star. Mostly it's just gonna be a three star Nexus disguised as a Grand Master Nexus crystal. So an ultimate crystal is also a three-star crystal disguised as a hope for a four-star. Whatever you get a four-star, I'm not saying that won't be helpful to people who mainly have, say, two and three-star champions as their best champions, and they're they're doing this at the beginning of uh, of their journey in MCOC because you're guaranteed a three-star with a chance for a four-star. But that's not even worth calculating into the value of it. It's it's really not worth anything. So there is this, which is the Enatharman crystal? Ooh. It's a Rentra crystal, but again, it's a Grand Master crystal. The best you can do is a five star, which is very strange. You get the Nexus crystal. You've got to be kidding me. There is not a single Cavalier Nexus. What do you mean based on your story progression? You're acting like everybody is uncollected. This piggy bank is a joke compared to what it was. Now, keep in mind, the last time we saw the piggy bank was during the spring cleaning event. What made that so amazing is that you got doubloons, which by itself was worth the five bucks. But then you got um, side quest crystal shards. I think a cavalier crystal. It's like, did they forget the Cavalier Crystal in the piggy bank? I know you get the 4,000 multi-madness crystal shards, and I know from the 4,000 you can buy two regular Cavalier Crystals, but y'all, because I've got, you know, 4,000 right now, y'all, these are not good odds. I have gotten mainly all three stars from these with a couple of four stars and uh, actually a couple of five stars. No six stars, as always. And I do like the pool, but... The odds of the five star are still 16% and the odds of a six star are 3%. So comparing that to the daily Cav special odds that I always put as the gold standard of MCOC, which is 24% and 4.5%, there is a big difference between the two, especially over the course of several crystals. So if you want side quest Cav shards, I guess, You'd be interested in this, but remember, this is mainly just a bunch of three stars for five bucks. If you compare this 
to the $5 for two Cavalier Nexus crystals, I don't think there's a comparison. And I would have expected for certainly Throne Breakers and above, Throne Breakers and Wallet Breakers, to have at least one, I would have expected this crystal to be a Cav Nexus crystal. That would have made it a solid deal. Not like the greatest deal of all time, but still a solid deal. Maybe at least a B minus grade. I think this is a, a C minus grade. This is below average given what $5 should get you for the progression levels that we're at. And obviously Cavalier crystals should be open to Cavalier players. So really that should be the cutoff of Cavalier and above. And instead, here I am, Paragon. And we can't even get a six star out of this. The only Nexus, like how shady is it? That it's a Grandmaster Nexus Crystal when Kabam tries to sell us on the fact that based on your progression level, you'll get for the final milestone is a Nexus. If it's a Grandmaster Nexus, that's like saying, hey, wait till the end. It's going to be a pot of gold. And then you get there and the gold is like expired ramen, which I don't even know if it expires. This analogy is as trash as this offer. Ugh. Good luck to everybody in the new week of Eternity of Pain. I'll be uploading videos when I have some good counters myself. But in the meantime, um, this just feels like whoever designed this, designed this all for, for like proven or conqueror players and didn't take the story progression at all into effect. And that's just pathetic, YouTube. This entire thing is trash.